Okay, hi guys. Okay. Um, I'll do the second uh, unboxing. And probably this time I'll do together with a whole setup process. Okay, as I've uh, seen, I've done the first previous one. Well, I ran into some issues. Uh, well, we'll get the mobile phone to sort it out with me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to check my second set to make sure that uh, all system goes before the yeah, okay, So, same thing, we have the quick start guide, as you can see. Okay, scout, uh, as usual. Okay, we'll remove it. Okay, the charging guide. Oh, it's a tight fit. Okay, uh, as well, the, we have the lubricant uh, Type C cable. Okay, type C cable. To go on the side. The dog. the dog is pretty light, so it comes with a, a double side tape for you to fit it to the location. Because when, when Scout would go back and charge, actually, he's quite forceful. So if it's not fixed, your dog might move around. So yeah, just you got a spare tape in case you're moving the location. Okay, let's put this aside. Can okay. quality. Uh, no physical cracks. Nope. As usual. It is kind of heavy. Remove the protective layer. Okay, the camera is actually here, right at the top. We have a couple of sensors. I think there's three lights. I can see three LED. There's also a camera inside that you can see. I don't think you can see. Right, uh, so this is it. I'll uh, switch it on and uh, start pairing it to my mobile phone. And you can see so on the left side it's a on button and on the right side there's actually a direct mode and a router mode i think a direct mode will pair to the scout uh, direct wi-fi and router mode means that uh, scout will be paired to your home wi-fi and uh, followed by your mobile phone connected to the scout so let's switch it on You hear a couple of sound coming up from the Scout. Let me go here. Okay, just hold on first. Okay, as you can hear, um, initializing, so there will be a, a few sounds coming up from Scout. Yep, it's on a direct mode. Well, that's, that's when you uh, look for Scout's Wi-Fi on your mobile phone. When you pair, you take a look in the shower. Alright, I'm connected to Scout Wi Fi. Alright, so now the, let's follow what it says. Okay, I'm gonna enter a new password for Scout Wi Fi. Select your home Wi Fi from the list. Okay. 
First and foremost, let's uh, go right into the system and uh, let's upgrade the firmware. There should be a firmware update. Yes. All right. So, uh, before you upgrade the firmware, it's going to put that on the charging dock. All right. You hear the sound. Okay. So now, uh, yes, you can uh, proceed when you can see Scout actually charging, all right? So now the update will carry on. Okay, one thing cool about this is uh, this is to prevent any uh, error that would to occur if you run out of battery on Scout halfway through the update. And that will be quite serious. So yeah, it's to ensure that scalp is uh, connected to the battery. All right. Should pause the video for a while. Okay, you can see now it's about fifty-eight uh, percent. You will hear a couple of sounds coming up from scalp as well as our uh, scalp will we restart a couple of times. Uh, yep, we just did. Okay. So during the update, uh, yep, be patient. Scout will restart a couple of times, plus some sounds will be coming up. Yep, as you can hear. All right, I think we're done. However, yep, they don't tell you that it's completed. Yep, you can just see that now the bar is not moving, and uh, Scout is uh, charging now. So yep, as you can go back and see. Uh, yeah, there's no more, no more firmware to be updated. Alright, see, now there's no more downloading. Alright, so let's check on the video. Let's set it to the lowest resolution to be safe. Be great. Uh, Alright, let's set to lowest. Right. I'll not run through the, the menu or, or the list, everything here, okay, but I'll just show you what the important thing. Well, there's this uh, when an issue with uh, Scout as per my very first set. I actually run this uh, built-in self-test and a couple of errors actually appears here. So, yeah, you can feed this back to the team. Uh, will try to resolve the issue for you. All right, so I'll not try this test yet. Let's see whether the camera is working and uh, the controls are all working for the, for the start. Okay, exit this. Okay, so now, if you go on to uh, the monitor, okay, let's move scope. All right, okay, you can see that there's no control pads on the side because uh, Scout is uh, currently docked. So you can see this uh, exit, not the left button, but the one in the middle. Okay, by uh, clicking on this, Scout will leave the charging dock and then your control uh, keys will appear. All right, as you can see. Okay, sometimes you, it does go into the mapping for the petrol, so you just exit there, it's okay. Yeah. So let's test all the movement first. Eh? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's try the self docking function. Okay. So when you click charge, look at how 
my screen is and how uh, Scout will position itself. As you can see, Scout can detect the charging dock and it's moving to line itself in. Well, it will try to adjust itself. Well, that's a, a negative demonstration from Scout there. Right, let's see how long it takes to readjust itself. Alright, I'm uh, leaving a dog again. Okay, Scout is uh, away. Right, as you can see here, okay, you can see the red square. Yep, yep, it sees the dock. Then you turn 180 degrees around and uh, do the same thing. Here. Right, not the best uh, demonstration, I would say. Well, it's a bit off. Mm, okay, now let's go into the video settings. This time around, I'm going to increase the feed rate slightly. Um, yeah. Let's see if any issues occur. Testing the charging function here. Let's see whether it's able to align itself. Okay, as you can see how uh, Scout is trying to reverse into the dock, so you know how important uh, keeping your dock uh, secure to the base is uh, to the ground or whichever surface is so important because if it goes in hard, at least the dock don't move, the dock stays still. Yep, that's important. Right, I will try to increase the bit rate further. And let's see how the video quality. Well, still okay, I would say. Right, one last try in the charging function. This is what Scout sees. And you can see it's not really uh, lining up perfectly. It's a bit off, but it does go, go back in. Alright, so seems to be working. Fine. Okay, let's. let's uh, Let's go to the night vision. Auto sensitivity. Uh, okay. Right, let's do a pine new calibration. Well, the same thing, it doesn't tell you whether it's complete. Uh, the process just stopped. So well let's see. Okay, uh, that's about it. I'll do more on the petrol mapping for this scout to see how it fares to my previous. Yeah. Okay, guys.
so forth for today's uh, unboxing and setting up. Okay, if you like it, please give a thumbs up. Thank you so much.